In this tutorial we're going to apply data validation to a cell based on data on a separate sheet. Now we assume that you've used data validation before for the purposes of the exercise. Uh, if you haven't then do go and have a look for tutorials on data validation. But let's assume that you know how to do it. But what you want to do is instead of having the list on the sheet where the, uh, the, the cell is being validated, um, you want it on a separate sheet, say this data sheet here. So, just to prove a point, here's the cell that we want to put the validation onto. I'm going to hit data validation, I get a dialog box, I'm allowing a list. At the moment it's set to this range um, G2 to G6. Let's see if I can select a range on a different sheet. And as you can clearly see, Excel won't let me select a range on a separate sheet. So let's find a way around that. And the easiest way around it uh, is to go to the range that you want to name uh, to uh, use for the data validation and here you can see it's highlighted and give it a name and the way you give it a name is you type you click into the name box this box at the top left hand corner here and type the name that you want and here I've called it product list notice that I can't use a space in a name so I've used an underscore character and to apply the name you hit enter so that range is now named product underscore list OK, so now all I've got to do is use that range name in my dialog box. So let's go back to the data validation. And uh, here's the cell, data validation, allow a list. Now instead of this definition here um, that was there before, I'm going to put an equal sign. And now I'm going to put the range name in. The equal sign is extremely important. Don't forget that, otherwise it won't work. So range name, either I can type it if I can remember it, or if I hit the F3 key, the function key at the top of the keyboard, it gives me a list of all the names in my spreadsheet, and I can choose the one I want and paste it in. So there we are, equals product list, hit, under, hit OK, and now there's the data validation. It's no longer using this range here that I've just deleted. What it's using is this range here, and just to prove that, I'll change this cell, put an X in it. We'll go back to the data validation list and have a look, and there we are, you see. So that's now picking the range from a different sheet because it's named. Um, in a separate tutorial, what we'll have a look at is how to make this expand automatically when you start adding more data in. So if you want to see that, go and have a look at the website www.ooth.co.uk and you'll find a tutorial on there.